I don't even know if Volition is going to see this, but hopefully if you're a team member from Volition, please watch the whole video and get where we're coming from. And also, I did support your trailer, so I'm not going to be ranting. Hey everybody, welcome. If you are new, my name is Linda and I'm going to be kind of directing this at Volition in hopes that they'll hear from somebody who is not aggressive with it. Um, I, I follow a lot of other Saints Row fans slash content creators who got to see early access of the game and I was stoked to hear from them that they were enjoying the gameplay and they loved it and I kind of was like, okay, so the game's gonna be good, we're gonna we're gonna get a new remake of the, the game or whatever's gonna happen and I was hoping for the ending with Get Out of Hell where they brought back the world and we got to see something new, refreshed, revamped, something like that. So when the reboot happened, I didn't know what it was. I thought, you know, maybe it was like, you know, a couple add-on characters or they got reborn into some new world and then when I saw that it was a reboot all the way around and that uh, they were college kids I was like okay I'll give you a, I'll give you a little bit of a pass Volition and, and I seen the gameplay and I liked it but Volition you need to stop on Twitter whoever is running your Twitter account just stop tell that person take a break give them a five Give them some coffee, give them something to, to, to calm them down, whatever they need to, I don't know what it is. Give them a Snickers, you know? You're not you without your Snickers, I guess, I don't know. I saw on Twitter people getting scolded for telling them that we don't like the new game, screw Volition, screw Saints Row, Saints Row is no longer a gangster game, we are done with it. And then they came back and went, nope. We don't care what you think. We're gonna we're gonna do whatever, and you're gonna like it. And it's it's kind of bringing some bad press. Um, Volition, don't you remember when you did that with Agents of Mayhem? Ding ding ding! Didn't it bring a bell back to the you know the little noggin about how when you did that with Agents of Mayhem, the team got split in half, and the developer like went Foot! finito with a lot of you guys, and uh, you know w aren't you gonna learn your lesson? Aren't you gonna learn your lesson? Okay, so for those who don't know, Agents of Mayhem came out and was not gonna be at all Saints Row. It was gonna be a different game. They were gonna try a new tactic. It was gonna be set in soul and it was gonna be cops. Instead of gangsters, we're gonna get cops and, and they're trying to combat the evil and stuff like that. That's what they told us in the beginning. So the game's coming out, trailers are coming out and people are like, we're Saints Row. What's going on with Saints Row? What about Saints Row 5? And I guess them getting that question asked a lot made them go, huh, nobody's talking about Agents of Mayhem. Let's, let's sprinkle in some, uh, maybe some Saints Row? And uh, that's the downfall of Agents of Mayhem. It, it had no action. So when you start off a Saints Row game, whether it's 1, 2, 3, 4, or you know even Gad Out of Hell, you are hit with something really dramatic in the beginning of the game. Whether it's you're almost shot by a gang, you uh, come out of a coma, found out that the Saints Row, you know, is just completely wiped out. Third one, you're robbing a major organization. Four, you're the president and you're attacked by aliens. Something major happens, like get out of hell, the, the boss is sucked into a wormhole and going to be marrying the, the devil's daughter. So you're always hit with something amazing. Agents of Mayhem, whew, started off very poorly. It, it just, you're just skating around as one of the characters and doesn't go very far. You don't get any like action immediately. And it's repetitive, like Gat Out of Hell. So it, when you get Gat Out of Hell, you, you get these missions that don't make any sense. They're, they're repetitive, it's the same thing. You go in, stop this boss, this area, collect all the stuff you need to do, and then finish the boss off. It's, it's done, yeah. So Volition, when they saw that, they they brought in Johnny Gap. They brought in so many Kenzie. It was just, it was bad. It was, it was like the three core characters that they try to bring in, they brought them in. I don't like it. I didn't like it. And that was when they realized maybe we shouldn't listen to the fans and fix it. Well, now they're doing a 180 and completely doing whatever the hell they want to do because they realized the first time it didn't work out. So, Volition, I don't mind if you change up a game. Didn't mind when you went directly crazy on 4 and went Matrix. Didn't mind Gat Out of Hell. I mean, 
I hated the, the, the repetitive of it, but I understood where you were coming from. Now, I am I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for the gameplay more and more and more until February, but just stop. You're gonna, you're gonna sink a ship that is just gonna end up where you're gonna be completely wiped out. And when that happens, I'm gonna get No More Saints Row games. So I'm kind of pleading with you guys to stop doing what you're doing so that I can get more Saints Row games. Yeah, it's kind of bad and, and me just thinking a uh, first world problem kind of thing. I, I want more Saints Row games and I gotta talk to you guys. But I gotta talk to you guys, you know. I, I haven't gotten a new GTA game in forever. I haven't gotten a new bully game. I haven't gotten anything really massively good for open world. And now you bring me a Saints Row game. Please. Don't destroy your sales, don't destroy your stuff by being stupid on Twitter. You know, it's funny when you make a joke. It's not funny when you go in and tell everybody who bought your games back in the day to shove it. Just chill. Take a breather, take a chill pill, eat a Snickers, whatever you gotta do, and relax. Hopefully this has gotten to you. Somebody in Volitions are hearing us. And if that's the case, thank you. If not, oy vey. So, if you are watching this video and you're not Volition, what do you think of the Twitter shenanigans going on? I hope you have a great rest of your day, and Saints Row, everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too.